coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anisia Antoine, and this is your midday news brief. The Junior Achievement Program of St. Lucia hosted the closing ceremony for the first ever Urban Adventures Summer Camp. The Junior Achievement Program focuses on three educational pillars for success, financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and readiness. The camp is focused on the new strategies of the Junior Achievement Program and creates an avenue to develop the youth and ensure sustainability for the program. Approximately 21 participants graduated from the two-week-long program. Parliamentary representative for Groselet, Honorable Leonard Montout, noted that the different aspects taught at the camp will aid in the holistic development of the youth. The ceremony for the Urban Adventures Summer Camp took place on Wednesday, August 26, 2020. National epidemiologist Dr. Michelle Fassois says a steady rise in cases of dengue fever has led to the Ministry of Health declaring an outbreak. The declaration now warrants immediate and targeted response. The dengue virus is transmitted by female mosquitoes, mainly of the species Aedes aegypti and, to a lesser extent, Aedes albopictus. The incubation period is 4 to 10 days after bite. The dengue virus can cause an acute flu-like illness that can mimic COVID-19. An infected person can develop severe dengue with bleeding and organ impairment. Severe dengue has a higher risk of death when not managed appropriately. Health officials are urging all members of the public to take action and ensure that their surroundings are not breeding. In other developments, the Cultural and Artistic Fraternity is mourning the loss of former Director of Culture, Michael Oberton. Minister with Responsibility for Culture and Creative Industries, Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose, says the contribution of Mike, as he was affectionately known, goes beyond just the desk of the Cultural Foundation. He was a Calypsonian educator, writer and cultural activist. Mike Oberton is also known for his album of Creole poetry, Mighty Laughs, and a short story published in The Sun's Eye, an anthology of Caribbean writings. He is the author of Negma War, Freedom Fighter, a novel providing thought-provoking insight into the island's past and how it informs society today. Senator Belrose says St. Lucia will be poorer having lost one of its sons who contributed selflessly to its development. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.